I'll make you a bet, both of you, right, if you want to take it. My bet is this. Tories lose the election, and at some point in that parliament, led by whoever it is, particularly if it's someone like Suella Braverman, Nigel Farage joins the Conservative Party, rejoins the Conservative Party, and it's a moment of coming together of the new right within British politics. I mean, we should remember that Nigel Farage has stood for parliament not once, not twice, not three, how many, yeah, I'm going seven to go times. seven times, right? For UKIP, though, not for the Conservatives. And I guess that would be a test of whether UKIP as a party is not established or not popular enough to ever get a, an actual elected seat from scratch or whether voters still have an instinctive mistrust of Nigel Farage. Oh, he'd win it. Under a Conservative banner, he'd win. There's no doubt about it, he'd win. Are you giving odds on the bet, or are you just, is it evens? Well, I'll, um, no, I think, well, what do you want to give me, John? Uh, you give me three to one and I'll take the bet. All right, fine. Dinner. 20 quid. OK, 20 quid, 20 quid. Can't wait. Can we put Easiest a money date for the made. election on as well, please? Okay, then. That's, we're, not, we're not William Hill. <laughs> All right? That's what I'm going to call you now. All right, yeah. I'll back <laughs> it. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast.